Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Live Art Chennai. This is Mr. Inivas. Today I am going to draw the great Telugu actor named uh, Sai Kiran. So, one of his great fans requested me to draw his portrait and uh, asked me to upload it in uh, YouTube so that uh, following his requ request. I am doing this portrait and also the crazy has paid for this portrait to draw so I am doing here so as usual uh, this is this is the area I am going to draw Okay, I'm just showing the picture which I'm going to draw now. Okay, so I think it's clear to see. So this is Camlin pencil. I'm using this for a rough outline which I usually do for all the portrait. As usual I start from the eye. So I am drawing the eye bottom line. I am just marking for the second eye, I'm leaving the same distance. So uh, this is common that everybody knows. The space between two eyes is one eye. This is common for all the portrait but there will be little different like sometime little closer or sometime little distance but it is common that one eye distance between two eye. So eye is the main uh, but that is why I used to draw eye first. If you draw the eye exactly without mistake, then you can draw other parts without mistake following this eye. So anyway, I think uh, uh, it will take long time. So let me draw this as a time lapse. So following the eye, I am drawing the other parts which is next to next and which are the part much closer. If you want to get the face resemblance exactly means you just follow my style and follow the see uh, I'm just marking next to next which are very closer also 
you should know the space and measurements that is a very basic fundamental without knowing that uh, if you make that is uh, that will end up with the wrong way and you will not get proper proportion of the face so actually this is a rough drawing this is not one uh, which is final but after this I uh, will make a final outline with the Stadler pencil so that is uh, one of the easy technique to escape because you know uh, this is Stella pencil. Now I am going to make a final outline. So the rough outline will be easily erased if you erase with a razor. But I, I want the strong line which cannot be erased because you know we are going to use eraser. If the line completely erased, then uh, you'll be confused to make a shading. So I'm just make correction in this step I am not exactly making a final outline on the rough line if you zoom and see I am just doing uh, slight corrections wherever it is required after the rough drawing I will match with the original picture and uh, I'll find out the mistakes that I have made with so I'll mark the mistakes and I'll try to correct the mistakes by the final outline this is this is kind of easy way to do the final outline and you will bring the exact face proportion without any mistake that is hair area so now the final outline is over so next we have to erase the rough outlines so so rough outline so now in this step I am going to make a shadow from top so this is the 8B Stadler pencil I am always starting from from the top area so that you can avoid smudging and making dirty on the sheet so here Shading will be completely done by Stella pencil. But if you check the shading, I will directly give the maximum dark I'm not doing layer by layer so I'm giving maximum dark directly
see i'm maintaining the her curliness and i'm i'm very careful on the her curliness and uh, the air flowing actually the hair is going like a waves there is up and down so down area obviously will be much darker and the hair where rising up there will be a lighting now hair is over i'm just uh, doing uh, outline of the eyes but eyeball will be done in the last minute i'll be doing later every time i'm doing the eyeball in climax it's because uh, i want the audience to be watch this video till the end and i just wanted to make curiosity about the final outline i mean final eye shading so now i'm using a uh, 10b camlin pencil for the dark area this is maximum dark for the face after eye and uh, ear part for the skin this is a maximum dark i'm using a blending stick for merging the stroke so this is a flat brush so this is a absara platinum pencil i'm giving a basic tone with this pencil and smudging with a small flat brush fine art and again with a big flat brush this is a 6b pencil so there is a shadow in there is a shadow in below the ear on the forehead so i am smudging the strokes with a small flat brush the disadvantage of the graph graphite pencil is that will glitter on the light when you are using top light for the video it it will glow and it will reflect the lights this is actually stadler uh, hp pencil i'm just giving a basic tone and smudging with uh, flat brush
and this is 6b actually this picture is uh, one side lighting so face one side will be more light and one side will be more dark so this is a combination of light and shade so i was keep on uh, smudging on the pencil stroke to have the smooth surface because sometimes the pencil line will be so hard to smudge because the we put line stronger without knowing that without our knowledge sometimes it has come This is medium size brush. This is AP pencil for the lips. In Camlin pencil, AP pencil is not good because it reflects the lights. It be also I'm using for some cast shadow which looks much darker below the nose and uh, lips center line and uh, lips corner. So just improving uh, shading to bring the volume, always uh, you, we can give more detailing on the shadow area, we should reduce the sh uh, detailing on the lighting area. So I'm fine tuning with the brush.
actually there is no lighting in the neck area so we don't need to leave any white space I'm using a 3B pencil for the complete darkness in the neck area also I'll blend up with the 8B pencil finally to have more dark in the collar area but in this time lapse video it seems very faster but but in the real time uh, I'll be doing all shading and drawing very slowly and I will not be compromised to bring the exact result and resemblance I'll be keep on erasing and keep on re shading and keep on redrawing until we reach the exact result so this is uh, Camden 10B So I'm just uh, erasing the shadow area for giving the reflection lighting, reflection light that is not a direct light, that reflection comes from the shoulder white shirt. So by the time I'm giving the background slightly because the shirt is uh, white so we need a background at least in uh, grayscale then only the shirt will be visible otherwise the shirt will merge up with the background. So let's go a little closer to make a eyeball. This is my way I usually do in the last minute. Actually that fan wanted the eye like a cat eye. That is why I am doing uh, much like a cat eye. Otherwise the picture does not look like this. In the picture the eye is a little darker than I drawn but that person wanted his eye like a cat eye that's why I'm doing like this so 
this is fine i hope everybody enjoy this video if you like this video please click the like button and uh, subscribe my channel and also share to your friends this video link for the regular video update please click the bell icon on the right side okay thank you so much i will see you with another video